Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chaogan from China University of Geosciences. The photo behind me is my university. It is so honored to have this opportunity to give you a presentation. Thank you for the organizers of Rabelow on Geology and Earth Science. The title of my presentation is Prediction of Drilling Rate of Penetration, ROP, using Hebrews for Factor Ration, a case study on the Shandong Jai, Central China. My email address is shown on this page. If you have any questions after this presentation, you can contact me directly. Okay. Before the main content, please allow me to introduce myself. I am an associate professor from China University of Geosciences, and my research interests include machine learning, soil optimization, process control series, and their applications to the drilling process. And I am a young editor board member of Drilling Engineer, a Chinese journal, and also a member of Society of Petroleum Engineers. Chinese Association of Artificial Intelligence and Chinese Association of Automation. In the last five years, I have published some journal papers as the first author, and their main content are rate of penetration prediction and optimization, formation durability prediction, and 3D formation durability modeling. In this presentation, we focus to the rate of penetration prediction that we published in the Journal of Petroleum Science and Engineering in 2019. Okay, I have divided my presentation into several parts. In the first part, I will show you the introduction. In the next part, the geological background of Sunlongjia area, central China, is shown. In the third part, the drilling process is described and analyzed. In the first part, the modeling framework and the 10 forms post validation procedure is proposed. In the next the five and the sixth part, the modeling methodologies and the industrial application are discussed. Finally, the seventh part concludes the presentation and gives some future works. Okay, in the first part, please allow me to say something about the ROP, ROP, rate of penetration is the footage of drilling per unit time and it is a key parameter to reflect the drilling efficiency many parameters many drilling parameters have significant influence on the rop they can be divided into the controllable parameters and the uncontrollable parameters in the drilling process there are three controllable parameters and they are the weight on bit rotation speed and the flow rate some, some other parameters such as the formation durability, formation strength, stand pipe pressure, and uh, torture are the uncontrollable parameters. The prediction accuracy of ROP model is not high enough, especially on the complex geological environment. In addition, the ROP model is the basis of drilling optimization, which is important in the drilling process. Well, there are two kinds of methods to predict the ROP. One is the mechanical and the statistical based ROP prediction method. In 1974, Bok Yan and Yang proposed the VY model to establish the relationship between the ROP and eight drilling parameters, such as formation strength, formation compaction, bit well, and so on. The response surface methodology was introduced by Molovich to predict the ROP. This kind of method is helped to determine the model input, but the prediction accuracy is not high enough. In this decade, the scholars from the University of Texas and other institutes introduced the machine learning method to predict the ROP, such as the random forest the neural networks, and uh, the spot vector regression. This kind of method is performed well than the mechanical and the statistical based method. However, there are many parameters in this kind of method, so it is important to optimize the parameters to improve the prediction accuracy. The second part is the geological background. 
this figure shows the Shenongjia Road, Central China, and the red star is the target drilling well. We can see from the geophysical and the stratigraphy of the target drilling well that there are many kinds of lithologies in this area, such as the stony soil, the dolomite, broken zone, and the silicious dollar stone. As we know that the silicious dollar stone is very difficult to drill, even the tricon beach and the PDC beach are both not performed well in this area. In addition, the the uh, lithologies of this area is changed sharply. So it is really a challengeable topic to predict the drilling ROP in this kind of environment. Second part is the process description and analysis. The drill rig, drill house, and the drilling control system are shown on this figure. Three subsystems, including rotational subsystem, bus circulation subsystem, and the trajectory tracking subsystem, operate together to ensure the drilling process. The rotational subsystem is crucial for tracking various kinds of rocks in the process. The return bit is adjusted to the hook in the dirt, and it is a vital variable in the drilling process. The rotational speed and the torture are the necessary variables in the, in the process. And the rotary table is used to rotate the whole drill string. In addition, the mud circulation subsystem is often referred as the blood for drug. It is essential for maintaining the drilling safety, the flow rate, and the stem pipe pressure are other, uh, other uh, critical variables in the process. Furthermore, the trajectory tracking subsystem is essential for, uh, for the accuracy of the drilling trajectory, the bottom hole assembly, and located between the drill bit and the drill string. It's a tool to measure and control the actual drilling trajectory, checking the planted plan drilling trajectory. Well, the drilling process has many characteristics. For example, the uh, severity problems, low drilling efficiency, strong nonlinearity, data non noise, and the mechanism and mechanism. Okay, I will specific analysis about the drilling characteristics. The first characteristic is the severity problems. Due to the influence of our stable formation, there exist the serious severity problems in the target drilling well, such as the mud loss, stick, and burnout. The second characteristic is the low drilling efficiency. The drilling process of the target drilling well has to oppose the south stone dominate in the fracture zone. These lithologies are hard to drill because the drilling ROP is very low and the drill beat are wrong very quickly. Even the well known efficient uh, trichon beat and the PDC beat did not perform well in this target drilling well. The third characteristic is the strong nonlinearity. There is a strong fluid solid heat related to reaction, high temperature, and high pressure conditions in the drilling process. Therefore, the relationships between the geological properties, operational drilling variables, and RP are complex and highly nonlinearity. The third Characteristic is the death noise. There are a lot of disturbances in the drilling process, such as the multi directional drill string reverberation and the formation of natural deflecting. These drilling disturbances, sensor noises, and uh, information transmission problem 
induce different kinds of low frequency and high frequency data models. Okay, the last uh, characteristic is the mechanism complexity. The complexity of the drilling process is reflected in the coupling of drilling models. For example, the change of WB and the flow rate can be masked by the torture and the step back pressure. So it is important to remove the redundancy and improve drilling variables. Okay, based on the analysis about the drilling characteristics, the model framework in the term for cost validation procedure, the framework of the drilling RP model is divided into three stages. In the first stage, six drilling variables are pre-processed by the roughly development method, and these variables are step high pressure, flow rate, torture, rotational speed, middle beat, and the drilling depth. After that, the flow rate, rotational speed, weight on beat, and the drilling depth are determined as the model input by the mutual information analysis method. In the third stage, the relationship between the four model input and RB is established by the SVR. ILS is IWBA message, and this message is an optimized small factor regression message. The ILS is IWBA message is, uh, is an improved uh, bad algorithm that we uh, proposed it in the uh, expert, system, expert system with applications in 2009. 18. If you have uh, interest about this uh, improved bad algorithm, you can try to find this uh, paper in the reading. Okay, the model framework is very important to predict the drilling ROP. And uh, the first stage is try to reduce the uh, data noise in the drilling in the uh, industrial drilling data and the, the uh, second stage is try to reduce the, the model redundancy and the third stage is try to uh, is establish a high accuracy RP model okay this is the tenfold cross validation and it is widely used uh, in the machine learning Method, especially when we try to determine the model hyperparameters and try to reduce the phenomenon of open learning. And, and generally, we, uh, we, try, we divided the data set into the, the three sets uh, the training set, the validation set, and the test set. And uh, this Method is uh, uh, recommended uh, when you try to establish the machine the machine learning uh, RP model. Okay. Uh, the fifth part is the modeling methodology. Okay, these two uh, functions are the key equations and. Uh, uh, as shown in these figures, the Rubik's filtering can remove the data noise while retaining the characteristics of drilling data well. In addition, the data delay of the filtering is almost ignored. Okay. In the the mutual information. Calculating the correlations between the drilling variables and, uh, uh, and reducing the model redundancy can significantly help to improve the prediction accuracy of, of drilling RP. The most uh, commonly used method for calculating correlations between the, between the 
RP and the and the Julian variables are the Pearson correlation method and the partial correlation analysis method. However, these methods only measure the linear dependencies. In this paper, we introduce the mutual information method to measure the relationship between the RP and uh, the six drilling parameters and uh, the numbers uh, indicate the, uh, the value of uh, mutual information. And uh, from the result, we can see that the torture in the stem crack pressure is uh, removed. Uh, and uh, finally, for model input, the depth, the return bit, the uh, rotational speed, and uh, the flow rate uh, has the model input. Okay. Uh, the third is the SBR ILS SIWBM acid that we mentioned before. Okay. There are three uh, hyperparameters in the small vector regression acid, and they are the penalty factor, the shell short, and the parameter of kernel function. And the, the model of this small vector regression is a non-convex model. So we try to optimize these three hyperparameters and try to establish a high uh, accuracy RP model. So in this uh, stage, we introduced the ILS SIWBA method that we published in 19, in two, no, that we published in 2018. And uh, this method is, uh, is very uh, good, to, is very good at in solving this kind of problem and uh, the and the uh, uh, flow chart and the flow chart is shown on the on this figure okay the sixth part is the industrial application in the application we uh, the proposed uh, method have compared with 11 methods. The first eight methods are the back propagation neural network, the spot vector regression, the extreme learning machine, the least square spot vector regression, the response surface method, the spot vector regression, and the particle swarm optimization the random forest and the spot vector regression with uh, simplex uh, optimization method. And the other three methods, uh, which named uh, N1, N2, and N3. Okay, the N1 is, the, is our proposed method with no field print, and the N2 is the proposed method with no feature selection. And N3 is the proposed method with no filtering and no feature selection. Okay, this is the compared 11 methods. Okay, I will show you some uh, experiment parameters and the performance evaluation. Okay, uh, the experiment parameters are shown on this table. And uh, uh, there are four uh, performance evaluation, such as the uh, root mean square, uh, square error, the uh, normalized uh, root mean square error. MAD is the mean absolute difference, and MAPE is mean absolute percentage error. 
The first experiment is the tenfold cross validation experiment, and this figure shows the comparison result of an RMSE box plot. And from this result, you can see that the proposed method has the lowest RMSE compared with these. 11 well known ROP prediction method and this figure and this figure is the comparison result of an RMSE box plot. This is the comparison result of MAD box plot. And this is the comparison result of MAPE box plot. From these four figures, we can see that our proposed method has the best performance best prediction performance compared with the uh, 11 method. And after that, we have this um, final test experiment. And uh, uh, from these two figures, we can see that the error of proposed method is roughly 35% Less than the extreme learning machine, random forest, least square, spot vector regression, uh, response surface, and one, and two, and then three. In addition, the error of proposed method is roughly 15% less than the bad, 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 bad uh, than the back propagation neural network, uh, SVR. As we are PSO and uh, as we are simplex. And uh, our proposed method has the best performance in the final test experiment. Okay, the next uh, subsection is the RP model inference analysis. And we can see from this figure that uh, the RP has, uh, has uh, some uh, high, high. Very important, uh, significant influence with uh, eight, with six journey uh, uh, variables such as the depth, the uh, WB, and uh, the torture. However, the depth and the torture are not the uh, controllable parameters, and uh, the WB that has the third largest mutual information coefficient. With the RB becomes the key variable to change it. Well, Jody in the Sonja area, Central China. So the WB is is very important in the in in affecting in affecting the uh, Jody RP. Okay. The last part is the conclusion in the future works. Okay, the first is the conclusion. There are three points. The first is the proposed method uh, takes into consideration the journey characteristics of strong nonlinearity, different kind of data noise and couplings to establish the RP model. And the second is it can reduce the, the data noise redundancy and they improve the prediction ability in the jury process. And the third is it showed an excellent prediction performance as compared with 11 well-known RP prediction method. Okay, in the future, the proposed model will apply to other projects improving the jury efficiency. Okay. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact me after my uh, uh, after this uh, webinar. Thank you.